I actually don't know what a peacock sounds like. So. I don't either. Uh, we watched Peacock, the lighthearted. Um, <laughs> no, it's not lighthearted at all. Uh, what do you think, Brandon? I, really, I liked it. Yeah, I, I like the I movie it. too. It's not. It, it, it's not really a horror uh, no, movie, though. No. Um, it's more like it should be on Thirty One Days of Awkward. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a drama. It's a, it's a psychological drama. Yeah. Um. But I mean, it's unsettling. It has the, yeah, yeah, it has definitely. Yeah, it's definitely. It definitely fits within this watching this month. You know, like yeah, creepy things. Yeah, I would. St- I would just call it unsettling. I I, I, I was. I wasn't necessarily creeped out by it. Um. More uh, weirded out at first, but once you get past the whole I don't know, in, uh, struggle of self identity, yeah, and, um, and repression of I don't know, child abuse, I guess, yeah, uh, it's it's less about creeping you out, more about it becomes it kind of becomes a thriller in some ways, yeah, uh, but. I don't. A lot, I mean, some people are gonna argue and say this isn't a horror movie, but we watched it anyway. Yeah, we don't care what you think. <laughs> uh, we do care. Um, but no, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't classify it as a, as a strictly horror mm-hmm. horror film. It definitely, definitely more dramatic. And um, I'm, I'm trying to compare it to other movies. My 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 hang up. I like the movie a lot, but my hang up with it is that it's. Sent the uh, I don't know what you call this not theme so much, but the conceit I don't know the imp- impetus. <laughs> we get the source today. Uh, but what's at the core of this movie isn't that unique. Is it has it's no. it's, yeah. it's a concept that has been done in numerous other movies and it's somewhat become a cliche you know ch- uh, mother abuses child yeah, and child grows up with you know sexual identity um, sure. confusion yeah. uh, it's it's very very Ed Gain and Pitchcock and Freud yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that part of it is not interesting but what is interesting are the performances and the, how they what they do with that uh, yeah identity crisis um I'll let you say stuff because I'm, I'm going to keep saying um, I'm in awe of you searching for words. For, for me, one of the, the big strengths of it was the – it was visually. Um, I thought it was a very beautifully shot movie. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, some, some stuff was really dark, but I'm more uh, – like a lot of the like establishing shots and, and things that were outside were just – they're very – very like American Midwest mm-hmm. kind of, which yeah, which yeah. is is got to feel where this was. Yeah, and but I think that's how it was so effective because you get these very beautiful like Americana things, but then you have this this strange, very un-American. Yeah, it's well, not, it's not, not, not that's necessarily arguable. not necessarily <laughs> un-American, but but what would be in a small town like that? Yeah. I mean, this this would have caused a huge uproar if they knew what was going on under the surface. So the, you have yes. these you have these surface establishing shots that are that are saying this is yeah. idyllic America. Yeah. But well, then you have this whole other thing happening underneath the well, surface. Well, there's a th- it's called American Gothic. This is this is the kind of thing. It's small town ta- small town USA uh, with with a with dark secrets. Yeah. That's that's what this what this what this film is. I. Again, I've seen this in other movies before. That's yeah. The, I mean, I kinda, I'm getting hang, hung up on that, but like I said, I like the movie a lot. Um, I, I don't think that I have seen it in too many um, movies, no. but I, I mean, I, that's just because I probably haven't seen a lot of those. Yeah, Americana, gothic right. type things. There's a lot. I mean, there's a show American Gothic for one, <laughs> <laughs> but that's more about the devil. Um, this. I'll make a list. <laughs> I've got I've got a list in my head. Uh, in ways, I don't. Know, I may I may have the one way you can kind of vault this in. Not that it has to be a horror movie because I don't. I, whatever that they made, they made the movie that they made. That's not like that's we. Should, even though we're gonna have genres on our website, like that's something I'm not 
a, a bit huge fan yeah. of uh, I, I kind of like movies that blur genre sure, lines. Sure. Um, but the one the way that this could have been elevated into that realm of horror is maybe gone more Lynchian, and gone a little even even a little weirder. Yeah, yeah. Um, more, a little more avant garde. But again, that's you know that's the filmmakers chose to make this movie, and it's a good movie. It's, yeah. Well, that's, I think that's that's the way that it was effective for me in a quote unquote horror way was that each time someone was alone in the room with with him her mm-hmm. I was I was kind of anticipating some kind of violence oh like I, I felt like there was this 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 kind of violent undertone <laughs> waiting to happen okay and it wasn't until the very end that I mean any violence is actually shown and yeah it was, and, and I just I kind of for me I, I I don't there was something happening there where I was I was anticipating it happening and it, yeah. it never did but because of that it, it it successfully kind of built that anticipation for me each right. time I didn't feel I didn't feel and I think it was just it was like maybe it's because of you know every other you know, horror movie where it's you know if you if you are alone with the unstable person in a dark house with the window shades drawn. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of it's like you expecting something bad to happen, and, yeah. I, and I and I felt like it was it was using that in a way to create tension, but then not necessarily okay. delivering on the tension at that point, which you know just kind of prolonged. Yeah, the under. I guess I, I, tension. See, I felt tension, but not quite uh, tension of violence. Just a, ten, a tension of like I said, aw- awkwardness. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I and mean, that's you, you really in those scenes where he or well, she that, is interacting. That might have been. It, it might have been the awkwardness because I think it was one of those things where I was maybe too. I was waiting for someone to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, so that's, that's, what, that's yeah, that's where that awkwardness comes. Yeah, from. and I, and then and then after that figuring out, I was anticipating like, okay, what am I gonna? What is what is, <laughs> what is <laughs> Killian gonna Murphy gonna do to to yeah. re- rectify that? And you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, that, I thought that I thought those parts of the movie were fantastic. Yeah. That, that, that's the best part of the movie. Um, the, in those scenes where you have one on ones with whomever, it doesn't matter who it is, what character it is, you know, you always have that threat of discovery. Yeah. And you know, once once that's discovered, it can't be undiscovered. It can't be un. <laughs> right, un, right. Know, like you said, this that would shatter a town like that. Um, it would become a huge scandal. So how do you deal with that if that happens? But the movie never goes that way. Yeah, right. It makes you think it's it might go that way, but it ne- never quite arrives there. Um, and that that part is interesting to me because the, the conclusion of the film, spoilers, but I'm assuming you all watched it, um, with the end, it leaves it very ambiguous. You know, what's mm-hmm. it become of... Emma at this point. Right. John is gone. Right. Um, she killed John. <laughs> Quite literally. Um, but it, you left that scene in the living room. She takes off her shoes like her mother and you know, like his mother. And, and also like Susan like Sarandon. Susan Sarandon did. Yeah. And sat and looked up, you know, sit next to the window. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know what I mean. It's left for the audience to right, kind of right. fill in the blanks, I suppose. But there's lots of different ways it could have gone. But um, that amb- ambiguity uh, works, I think, in, the, in a film like this. Sure. Um, even though I think he's going to kill himself. <laughs> he, g- he gave uh, Alan Page's character all his money. <laughs> all the money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. But I, it, it lead, the, that also leads me to believe that there had to be, perhaps from his mother... There has there had to have been some kind of other money because he's he's spending money. I mean, he's buying candy. Yeah, he's well. There's that you know, bank account. He and I, I guess because I get the, the impression that all of his paychecks just go right into that box. Yeah, I thought that's the money. I thought that was John's money though. That's when the six piece of John's money. I think that is John's money. He had he talked about two bank accounts. He oh, talk, okay. He, when he was talking to Alan Page. Um, I should know the characters' names, but yeah, Maggie, 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 Maggie. Maggie. yeah, Maggie. Um, when uh, he t- he picks her up at the you know the rescue house and was taking her back to yeah. her trailer, he was talking about bank account and giving him his money, but something about there it's in the movie. There's there's something in the movie, and when he was writing the numbers on that 
on that uh, the ledger, the, the ledger like checkbook. There were two. Yeah. There were two columns. So I don't know what that means. As far, I mean, we're probably looking too much into it, but uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think that's. Uh, yeah, because I just, I, for me, I, I just got the impression that it was, because, like, I mean, instantly, he, as soon as he got that paycheck, he cashed it and put it right into that box. The box. I really think that's it. Um, cause, and then, because I remember it was, it was like $1,400 mm-hmm. was what was in there, and he's and that's what he told her he had in there. Yeah. It was like, I have, you know, 1400 and whatever dollars. And, yeah. Um, I have a feeling that maybe... Now we're just speculating. This is fun. This is fun. This is the yeah, part of movies. Yeah. I have a feeling that um, Emma, Lady John, uh, was probably going to end up if if suicide wasn't in the future, uh, going to end up at that house, at that rescue house. Okay, because she doesn't have anything anymore. Right. That seems like okay. that seems seems like more of a but that's logical a, but, conclusion. But I think too, because because Emma. She didn't realize that she had anything, because she didn't. You know, she didn't know about the money that John had. Yeah. Um, she didn't. She probably doesn't know too much about like John's mother. She said she never met him. So, no, I understand. Yeah, I understand. So, split so, so, so I think yeah. So I think that it's. I mean, for me, you know, it wasn't necessarily because was the other thing. Like when she found that was you. You didn't see that part. Um, she she found the box under the stairs. With oh, all the candy the and with the and, and with the like the key yeah. and the lead, so when when he actually was going to get the money to give to to Ellen Page to, to Maggie, mm-hmm. I was actually thinking that there, possibly the money was going to be gone because Emma had gone there beforehand because mm-hmm. she had found out about it um, and you know use it for some other purposes. So I think I think it was just one of those things where. You know, neither neither one of them knew what the other one was doing. I no, mean, I understand that. Com- no, complete no, 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 I understand split. That. So because of that, she didn't. And, and so I mean, yeah, she may have thought she didn't have yeah. anything, but um, I think at a point she kind of realized. Well, I mean, it's, at the end, she obviously realizes that she and John are the same person. Yeah, she has that. You know, all of a sudden everything. Flushes, yeah, flushes flushes back. The scene that I really liked with uh, it's putting the kid down at the table. Yeah, that was actually that was that that um, spot right there was was my favorite. Well, let's talk scene. about yeah, let's talk so about those because uh, that that's re- that's the, where the lights kind of come on. Yeah, and that was a very good climax. Um, it's a it's, the, the, those are the kind of climaxes I like in a dramatic movie. Yeah. Honestly, it's a really quiet moment. Yeah, uh, where she's taking the picture of the kid and realizes. Oh wait! <laughs> yeah, and that's all. That's because it's I'm, when when I'm, she's setting I'm it up. Because yeah, actually, that was one of, one of the most like creepy and unsettling things for me was that that picture the yeah. whole time. I mean, it was just that. Yeah. It was such a just it, it's weird wild. image of uh, you know yeah. just a kid sitting at the table yeah. and just but kind of you know at the other end. And yeah, well, so it's, it's lonely. It looks yeah lonely. yeah. Um, and then to to you know recreate that. Was like at first I was like, man, this is. Just... But then to have that, and then the switch, you know, be like, yeah. Whoa, hey, yeah. what am I doing? Because it could it could have gone either way, in, at, that either way yeah. at that point. And that's a good climax. I yeah, mean, you want you want the the story to be able to diverge in several directions, right? And you know, once and it, then and then again, I liked where it ended up going after that because again, it could it could have just kept splitting where it's like <laughs> it could have gotten really effed up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but but it was like. A kind of a coming to terms with everything, yeah. and so it's like here he wanted you to have this, you know. Yeah, really, yeah. I wanted you know, and so there's. Yeah, I don't know. It was just it was it was almost kind of beautiful, but still, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I, that's that was the whole character. I didn't like John at all. Yeah, the movie. yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Um, I mean, he's there's reasons for this, <laughs> logical reasons for that, but anytime that. Emma was in the picture. It was like because he said because it was at first Emma was kind of a manifestation of his mother. Right. Um, she would make him the food and leave it out yeah. for him like his mother did. Uh, and there was in mother's mother's clothes. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know where the wig came from. <laughs> uh, regardless. Yeah. Uh, but maybe she was. Dying of cancer. She died of cancer or something, and maybe. that's why she had a maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, she did. She died. That's a big part of the story. Uh, but beca- at first I was confused because John was obviously a broken man, and it was because of his mother. There's no one Bates, basically. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so you think the mother's this, this evil, you know, you know, witch. But 
the way that Emma was acting towards people was very compassionate, right. and she always was doing the right thing, whereas John wasn't at all. So I was getting confused. Like, was his mother actually a good lady? And he was just... Unless that's what he, you know, wanted her. He, he, he was over, trying over, to, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, overcompensate or something. Yeah. Um, but, you know, all that is John, of course. So that's coming from him. But, so, at first I was confused, and then I re- once... At the end, her realization that if this keeps going this direction, I'm going to become this overbearing yeah. person, and then that's how it gets resolved. Uh, I like the, I like that turn. Um, I was going somewhere else with that point, but I don't know where it was now. <laughs> well, we were talking about favorite scenes. Favorite so scenes, that was, yeah. So that was, yeah. I mean, that was definitely... That, that in the very beginning, the opening... Uh, stuff when we because we, I didn't know anything about this movie. Well, neither and, one of us did. I, other than you know some of the people that were in it. And yeah, I, and I was like, is that Killian Murphy? I didn't even know Killian Murphy was in. Yeah. It. Um. And so <laughs> you, have the, you have the woman at the beginning of the movie putting put up the laundry. And yeah. And doing doing like house chores and stuff. And <laughs> you mentioned it was like Sylvia Murphy. I was like, oh shit, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I was told, I totally bought into it. Yeah. Which oh, is something yeah. you have to do for this. Well, movie. It, it took me. A couple of, of shots, shots of him yeah. before I, I realized that it was. So. Yeah. Um, which kind of, I mean, looks, if he never opens his mouth, just on looks, you could be fooled. Yeah, well, he, he actually, he on some especially from some of the, um, like, like a profile shot. Yeah. Um, he looks a lot like, um, now I can't remember her name, but I remembered it. Another actress. Yeah, another actress, uh, British actress. Um, married to John Krasinski from The Office. Um, I don't know who he's Emily married. Emily Blunt. Oh, oh, Emily oh, Blunt. oh, oh, finally he's married to Emily Blunt. Yeah, at least they were at one point. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it, it, he he reminded me a lot of her. Okay. And that. I just wasn't even paying to. I, mean, yeah. I was watching the movie, but I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah. Um, if I knew what this movie was beforehand, obviously it would have been a give a uh, dead giveaway. Sure. But once you said it, I saw it. Um, but that kind of like. Threw me for a loop too, and no one in the town recognized him. Right, so he's been in town for a long time. And if we can, if we can recognize, if we can him, recognize yeah. him. Then, but um, I mean, it, honestly, it was. I mean, it's I, good makeup. It's good. It's a good. Yeah, it's, it's a good. Face I, I think it's enough that it's they a, possibly could have been fooled. You but know? what bothers and, me is the voice. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very mannish. Yeah, <laughs> but but then again, a, mo- a lot of the people in that town. They they didn't necessarily care to see what that what was happening in there. Yeah, you know, it was they they wanted to use everything for their own. So yeah. it's like kind of those kind of stuff. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know. Other than I mean, kind of maybe the the sheriff, um, Josh Lucas's character. Yeah. You know, he kind of he seemed to be like you know. But again, didn't do anything. But right, right. But you know, if anyone should have maybe recognized it, I think it would have been his character. But other than that, I think everyone else is so involved with their own no, lives think, that... Yeah. His character or Ellen Page's character. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, she was only concerned about, you know, yeah. really getting the money and, and, you know, protecting her. Everyone has their own stuff going on. Yeah. All right. We've talked. This is, I think this is our longest video. Probably, it's definitely... Probably our longest definitely, video. Definitely, to talk about this movie. Yeah. Um, but whether or not you agree it's a horror movie, whatever. Yeah. We're watching a definite horror movie tomorrow, though. Yeah. Uh, no borderline here. We're watching <laughs> The Children of the Corn, uh, the original. I think they remade it for, like, a TV they, Yeah, they or did something. something. We're not there's watching that one. We're billions watching, of we're the sequels. The Linda Hamilton. Oh, there's tons of sequels. Yeah. Um, so, we have that on tap. Um, so, if you didn't like watching Peacock, well, watch this instead. I don't know. It's just a creepy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Laters.